In this video, we are going to be talking about how to emit smoke from a certain object. In the last video, we have seen how NCloth works, how to combine with field, and in this video, we'll see how we can create our own custom emitter inside of 3D Fluids. So let's see. So I'm already in my FX menu here. I'm going to go into my fluid and let's select 3D container. Bring this up, turn off the grid. Uh, you don't have to turn off, it's just my thing. And uh, let's make it 40. And if I play this now, you'll notice we'll have uh, something like this, which is a simple default scene. And we already have an emitter, so I'm going to get rid of this. You can also open up your outliner and delete the fluid emitter. If you don't know where the outliner is, you can go into the windows and outliner and make sure you dock it on the top left. Here, just it's just easier to work with an outliner. Open. All right. So we have a fluid shape but no emitter. So I'm going to choose something like maybe a torus. Bring this up. And uh, let's change some parameters. Maybe radius to 1.5 and the section radius to 0.3. Alright, and let's make it 35 and 45. So we have something like this. Let's bring this down. Alright. So what if I want to make this as an emitter, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this guy, select my 3D container, go to fluid, add and edit content and here you'll find emit from object. Click on this and that's it. So if I play this, now your object is your emitter. So now the smoke will be emitted from that object. From here on out you can do a lot of things you can simply select your torus and you can go in here object display you can turn off the visibility and the smoke will still be emitted from that object if just uh, you don't want to show your object where the particles are emitting from so you can turn it off I mean that's an option if you want so let's play this and now you have something like this very nice emitter um, emitting your smoke and let's go into the fluids and uh, artery size and uh, let's turn on some lighting here uh, and I'm not going to change this uh, although I'm going to add some more density here and uh, in the content details again let's add some swirliness pattern and some turbulence in here just to get something different out of this and uh, now you have something like this pretty nice so this is pretty useful because uh, sometimes you have a scene uh, that is not exactly that good and you want the smoke to be emitted from a different uh, kind of thing so you can use that in that scenario so like for example if i have a surface or a carpet i want to uh, set on fire so I can use it imagine this if uh, this is my carpet so I can select this I can select this go to fluid and from object and then I can uh, basically emit from here and this is how I can showcase uh, that this has this carpet has been set on fire and uh, let's change this to density let's make this to block all right and uh, then again I can showcase this as if this was on fire or something like that so there are a lot of different things that you can do this so this is a pretty useful technique uh, which you can use because we we don't have a similar scene in all type of scenarios we cannot use a simple sphere emitter so this way it will be easier for you guys to just emit from anything that you want imagine if you have a terrain if you want smoke to emit it from a certain uh, angle what you can do is uh, let me just get rid of this imagine if this is something and i'm going to go into the face mode and uh, let's like these and Oh, there you go so let's say if I wanted to emit smoke from here I can simply go to my modeling menu here and uh, edit mesh and let's duplicate the faces and that way we have two different poly surface the one is the top let's make it top and let's call this as sphere so I can come in here I can uh, 
select this guy, this guy, and I can go into the FX fluid and image from object. So now if I go back here and play this, there you go. So the smoke will be emitted from that part only. So again, this is a pretty neat uh, technique that you can use. Uh, let's make it 120 by 120. And uh, let's go into the content details, density. Let's make the buoyancy to somewhere about 2. And uh, base resolution to 60. And there you go. So now you'll have pretty amazing stuff going on. Uh, so pretty easy technique, pretty simple and straightforward, but it does give an interesting look. So this is how you can use your own custom emitter inside of 3D Fluid. And I hope this was helpful. That's it for this one. And I'll see you in the next video.